Alrighty, we are closing in on the last 13 minutes of the stream, I think. I was gonna go for two hours, but I got some things to do in an hour and like 13 minutes. I have like a match. But anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, So we're just gonna do what we can in the hideout because I think this is a really good stopping point. So if we could do some Bond episodes, that'd be dope. But again, uh, for those who haven't been keep- Oh, there is a Bond episode. Holy crap. Uh, no, just pure talk. Yeah, yeah, no, nothing else. All right, what else? What else here? Um, this is gonna be very awkward. Yeah, this is gonna be very awkward. Why do I look so weird? Anyways, we are back, and a couple of things uh, I just kind of want to address is in terms of the plot from the start of this uh, live stream session. There's a lot of things that happened. We called, we were called in. Well, our platoon was called in to head over to Kunai Highway to address some issues that were happening. I'm, I'm assuming I don't have that much good memory, but I guess we were just taking care of an other situation and it ended up being a trap. Well, not really, but the trap was that we only the setup platoon was supposed to address the situation but it ended up being like two other platoons came in coming by and then karen just jumped in and a lot of chaos happened after that so and then after the events with karen we got nagi nagi went crazy attacked seto essentially killed seto which i don't know how that was possible well then again seto didn't want nagi to be like gone like be there is the property of new himuka which is the government a new government is taking over Seoul, so that's a, a lot of events happen. So you should definitely go ahead and rewind back, cause I'm not the best storyteller, but I'm trying to give a quick summary about that. So a lot of things happen. We, after all those events about between Nagi and Seto's battles, and we saw that Nagi essentially killed Seto. Now we went into another wormhole or some type of wormhole with Kasane and we saw like the past character if you guys remember like in the second episode I forget who it was it's that like that figure the the strongest SAS or OSF member the original OSF member if I'm correct and this OSF member was killed by Karen which it seemed impossible I think maybe I just misread the story but I think Karen was from the future no wait he's from the past but he looks exactly the same as in the present so he has some involvement there and now we're here because we woke up apparently that whole entire situation that I literally just addressed was like he was in a very uncon well yuito was in an unconscious state while he was seeing all these events happen or unfolding should i say and Kazane wasn't reacting to us because we were trying to communicate with her and then we woke up and then all of a sudden an earthquake popped up Gemma showed up Hanabi showed up Sugumi showed up and then we see Settle's dead body on the floor and yeah and then we says we just decided to talk things out here at the hideout and that's where we are Whew. if that did not make any sense don't worry you could just roll back and look at the cutscenes and look look for it yourself or you know yeah that <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so before we end up this episode and the stream, let's go ahead and maybe do a Bond episode. Let's talk to uh, Gamma because my boy felt really bad about it. So he says, I can't believe Major General Karen would trick Seto. I should have entrusted Seto. I knew you should have, bro. You should have. So, again, it's a betrayal from Karen. We don't know if that's confirmed or not. And let's see, what about you, Sigami? Captain Seto was a good person, even Nagi. That's why I want to know what's going on. Alright. All right, I can't quite understand everything that happened at the Kunad Highway, but we just need to do what we can now for the commander. So, you know what? I'm going to give you this, baby girl, so you can have another plug-in. So, you know, we're going to be bonding a lot. Thanks. Baby girl, we're going to be bonding. You should take it. All right, and we're... I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. Let's do the bond episode. And this is going to be the last thing we do for this episode. Yuito, do you remember our promise from last time? Yeah, we said we'd talk again sometime. Mm -hmm. How about now? There's something OSF related I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, let's go to Masubi's. <laughs> I like how we're in a very, like, you know, That's weird situation where we're going out. <laughs> I thought that fighting in the OSF as children of the state would mean doing good. I'd defeat the evil others as part of the heroic OSF. But things aren't really that simple. It's never that it's simple. No. Everyone had their own motives. I never imagined the OSF would be fighting each other. What is the right thing to do? 
It's something I really need to sit down and think about, but I don't know. You're right. I get uneasy about it. It's too not a really sometimes. easy job. Although, I think it's better to take action than let worry consume you. True. You have such a positive attitude. I don't know if that's positive. I just think it's better than being kept in the dark the whole time. You have yep. to gather as much intel as you can before something happens that can't be undone. <sighs> You're so sure of yourself. You're like Kasani in that way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Even if you two don't agree, you both are so sure of yourselves. I think that's really strong. I'm the same class here as both of you, but I'm always hesitating and worrying. If you didn't push me, I think I would have given up a long time ago. You always saved me too. I wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you. I'm happy to hear you say that. But you don't need to placate me. I'm not placating. You're always so That's a big word for your boy. You push me to keep going forward. As kids, you always cheered me up when I was feeling sad. I wouldn't be here without you. I That's know sweet. It's just flattery. But it's still a little embarrassing. <laughs> It's not flattery. I'm genuinely grateful. I need you. Do you mean? But not just you, Hanabi. I guess I need everyone by Damn. my Damn. Oh, right. Friends are important. Yeah. Oh, I know what you thought. There's so much to think about. But you get stuck in a rut when you don't confide in people. So feel free to talk to me or anyone else when you need to. I'm sure we'll be able to help you somehow. Yeah, I mean, talking to you has helped. Well, I'm heading back to the hideout. Okay, see you later. Thanks for listening. There Any still day. seems to be something on her mind. But at least she cheered up a bit. Maybe I'm dumb. I, I wouldn't know. If you guys know what she was trying to get at, let me know in the comments. Because I think she just wanted to know. So bond a little more. I don't think that's true. I'm not built to be especially kind. You don't even realize it. That's what makes you cool. Aww. Oh, I am. Um, don't take it weird. I just think you're cool as a friend. Friend. Yeah, she just wanted to go and ask us out on another day, you know, to get a little, uh, get to know us better. I think that's the word, you know, that's what she wanted to do. That was Hanabi. That's her. That's baby girl. So now we have level three. So now we have. Increase SAS recovery and combo V. So, can we go up? Increases, uh, blah, 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 using LB bumper BAXY enables a combo in which Hanabi attacks around her. Oh, God, wait. So, if I do this, I'm so dumb. I did not know about that combo. So, that's what the number three means. That's the level they're at. took me a very long time to figure out what that three men over there, all right? I I'm very slow, all right? Forgive me. Recently, I've been thinking how much I've gotten to know you. Me too. I thought I already knew you, but I keep finding something new. <laughs> all right, so that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, there's nothing much I can do. Uh, Gamma left. Where is Gamma? He's probably sitting over there in the archway. Oh, no. Yeah, see? There's nothing to talk about with my boy. There's nothing. I don't even want to give you gifts, boy. Nah, I feel what you did is settle. Uh, I think that's it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. There's nothing much I can do. Even on the TV, there's there's only in the, the next standby phase. So, I guess we'll just drop it off here. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my script, boys. I have a script. Yes, I have. I have it loud and clear here. So um <clears throat> so let's let's read this freaking script from the word by word. No, I'm just kidding. Now I have some notes here. So if you guys enjoyed this stream, hit that follow button if you guys haven't already. Uh make sure to I was gonna say subscribe, but you know that's that's money. So I would not ask for you to donate anything unless you really want to. That's, that's up to you. That's your own choice. But also, definitely go ahead and check me out on Twitter. You can also follow me on YouTube. 
wait did i just say yeah, twitter and youtube but you get the deal follow me on youtube and twitter which you can find in the description of this stream uh, or on the layout you can just type that on the search bar for those uh two websites either on twitter or youtube you just type those in i should be the only one that pops out now this is geared to those towards on YouTube. If you guys have not smashed that like button, what the heck are you waiting for, bro? You're le leaving the like button very lonely, you know? I know you're a lonely person and that like button is a lonely person. You should guys connect by smashing it or smashing each other, whatever context you want to take that. Also, while you do that, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be updated to all Scarlet Nexus content on the channel where you get to see your random boy, Gizmo effing it up every single episode because he doesn't know how to do controls and he's very awkward so if you love awkward definitely consider subscribing because we're gonna see more awkwardness we're gonna grow together all right we're gonna grow together i'm gonna try to you know have more eye contact you know this has been something i've been working on you know i've been on youtube for almost two years and i'm still having this issue but then again this is my first time live streaming so give me a little bit of patience we'll, we'll grow together so i think that's all i wanted to say um yeah, that, that's all I wanted to address. So with that being said, that has been your boy, your random boy, Gizmo GX. And Gizmo's out. Bye-bye.